we have been working our way across this investing spectrum. We started on the right side, which were our really low risk or safe options, but they made us zero return or technically they lost us money because remember we have our taxes and inflation that sit at about 6%. So we need to make more than 6% in order to technically make money. So we've been delving into stocks and the next thing that we're gonna look at is bonds. My name is Bond. 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 James, James Bond. Bond. Okay, not that bond, but rather the investment bond. And so we're going to start off by reviewing what a bond is with this short little clip. A bond is a debt instrument issued by governments, corporations, and other entities in order to finance projects or activities. In essence, a bond is a loan that investors make to the bond's issuer. The price of a bond when it's first issued is basically the amount of money being loaned and is referred to as the bond's face value. In exchange for this loan, the investor receives interest, known as the bond's coupon. Bonds are issued for a specified period of time, such as one year, three years, or even 30 years. When the end of this time period is reached, the bond matures, and the bond issuer repays the loan to the investor. Al's Ice Cream decides that it needs to build several new ice cream plants in order to expand. Instead of going to the bank, Al's issues bonds for sale to the public. Tom buys an Al's Ice Cream bond with a face value of $1,000. It has a coupon or interest rate of 8% and a maturity of 10 years. This means that Tom will receive $80 or 8% of $1,000 every year for the next 10 years. When the bond matures at the end of 10 years, Al's Ice Cream will return Tom's $1,000 investment. Tom could also sell his bond before it matures. Corporations often issue bonds to fund capital projects, while governments usually issue bonds to pay for public projects. There are many types of bonds, but it is important to remember that the higher the interest rate on a bond, the more risk it is likely to carry. So in review, a bond is a debt instrument, and we call it a debt instrument because you go into debt by taking out a loan, and that loan can be taken out, like the video said, by a government or a corporation, which is a company, and that loan is taken out for a specific period of time. So when we look at some of these vocab words, the issuer of a bond is the government or the company that needs the loan. So they issue the bond, and then a specific person decides to invest in that bond or give the loan, and they are considered the holder. So they're physically holding that bond piece of paper, and they're holding the debt over the government or the corporation. The coupon was just a fancy way to say the interest rate. And as a reminder, this is a simple interest. So, and if you remember, simple interest is different from compound interest because compound interest earned interest on interest. Simple interest only earns on the principal or the original loan amount. So in the video, their $1,000 bond was an 8% coupon interest rate. So they earned $80 in interest, and that simple interest, $80, stayed the same every single year. The last thing the video mentioned is that there are different types of bonds. So it talked about the fact that there are government bonds, and we break this down that there are national government bonds, and there are also state and local government bonds. The other type of bond the video mentioned was a corporate bond, and this is a bond for a company or a business. The final type of bond that was not mentioned by the video is what's called a savings bond, and this is for individuals. In the next video, we're going to break down each one of these bond types.